All right, what what are we gonna do now? <laughs> I mean, we, we just we just save, save up money. Yeah, save up for the base and then save up money to pick any attack option. Yeah. Man, shit. It's gonna take so long to get money. Oh, Moscow! I see Moscow. Oh no! <laughs> Liberalization of the USSR. In 1989, as part of the Perestroika policy. The first partially free parliamentary elections were held in the USSR. Even then, the CPSU received 1957 from 2,250 seats. That's a big parliament, shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's a that massive parliament. <laughs> it's the USSR, what do you expect? However, already in March 1990, the Third Congress of the People's Deputies abolished Article 6 of the Constitution of the USSR, which enshrined the leading role of the CPSU. Okay, the first legal opposition party, the LDPSU, I'm guessing the Liberal Democratic Party of the Soviet Union, was, was registered in the USSR. However, we did not betray the ideas of Marxism, and in our country, the leading position of the ruling party in the framework of the National Front has been preserved until now, with two L's. Uh, okay. Okay. So, we will dissolve the National Front, but we will keep the law guaranteeing two-thirds of all elected bodies in the hands of our party. Let's oh, leave yes. it at that. Oh, very good, very good music. Uh, we must follow the path of the Mark... Uh, no. Uh, we're the stars. We, if, we, if, we, if we are going to dissolve, we're still going to keep the majority. No, do not dissolve. Why do we? Why should we dissolve the National Front? It works. Actually, yeah. Uh, why not? Let's leave it at that. That's a lot of nostalgia. That's probably why we should have <laughs> dismissed it. Uh, but honest, the unity of the party is up. And the support of the people is up. It's fine. It's fine. We just need to not have fucking an event. What? Increase our nostalgia every two fucking seconds. Why is it that every time you pick something, it always ends up like this? Ah. Uh, there's still riots. Oh shit! More events. Adulthood. What is this? The representatives of. Go ahead. Oh, this is the. This is the. Oh shit. It's time. Oh fuck. The representatives of our delegation have just received returned from an extraordinary session of the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. At the session, the Soviet side announced the refusal to provide assistance within the organization. The abolition of benefits and the transition to market prices in the economic we've already done that. The stunned Czechoslovak delegation stated, but in that case, would we would have to leave the CMEA? To which the representative of the USSR replied, replied, Come on! Yes, please! <laughs> They're destroying themselves! Be more daddy. <laughs> but, daddy! <laughs> Termination of mutual assistance will be very detrimental to our economy, so we need to do something! However, maybe this is the right moment to stop the collection of corruption of Leninism from the Soviet side! We can try to agree with countries that have remained faithful to the ideas of Marxism, and as we, we saw, <laughs> we do not have the money. We don't fucking this have it. The, this is the very big one that requires like 28 money or something. Yeah. This is the most costliest man in the game. <laughs> this is our chance to apply for membership in the Western economic community. Yes. We have not even begun the European integration! <laughs> Why? We will have to accept this. This is gonna increase. Mark my fucking words. This is gonna give us five nostalgia. No, okay. What? What the fuck? <laughs> we're dead. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. This is. <laughs> this is hilarious. Let's see. I just I just clicked another event. I just clicked another event before we could lose. The gold of the party. <laughs> is this some next 
afraid she is going to pull us out of trouble. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Due to political instability in our country, the party raised the issue of the possibility of withdrawing SED money abroad for greater security and safety. Uh, okay, okay, okay. The withdrawal of the party treasury will lead to a reduction in the reserves of our but. So, if we withdraw money, this is gonna reduce our reserve? Huh? But wait, doesn't this mean that we get money? Wait, no, no, no. Okay, w what he's saying is that this is the money of the party, not the money of the state. This is for unity, this is gonna increase unity of the party. Oh yeah, for all it's worth at this point in time. We, we don't need this. Oh shit, that decreased unity of the party by 40. Uh... I think we're dead. <laughs> Go, it won't allow you to proceed forward. Go to the economy. Uh, well, this is where we do budget budget cuts. We this is going to ro you'll you'll see how all the stats go down. Oh my god! Cuts because because we can't do anything else. Minus two point eight. I think we're gonna get rioted. Minus four point. How can standard of living be minus four? It's standard so. The budget, look look at the party unity. <laughs> minus fifty. We're gonna get party cooed. We're, we're, we're literally the fucking rod at the moment. <laughs> it's like there's so many bad things that I do not even know to begin where to begin with, like the not good. Uh, well, it was it was a good attempt. Party conspiracy. They will not dare overthrow me. <laughs> well, see the <laughs> man. See, the thing is, like, with Ostalgy, there's, this, this is, like, the end that happen the ending that happens the most. See, like, with Crisis in the Kremlin, there's so many different ways to die, but in this one, I've played it three times, and three times I've gotten party cooed. It's so easy to fucking anger <laughs> the party coup. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the, the party. Oh, but actually, the, the the text has changed. Actually, um, I, I think there's actually a way we can avoid this if we load up a save. <laughs> why? It's a, very, it's a very shot in the blind uh, thing, though. We might be able to scrounge up enough money on a very short notice. Maybe. What it will require of us to do is See, sacrifice oh, everything. Hold on, hold on. We actually, dude, we actually got a better ending than real life. Read this shit. Yeah. The SCD was transformed into the party of democratic socialism by joining the coalition with the opposition and a single center-right alliance won the election, which decided to join the FRG. The industry was privatized by different owners, but early reforms of the East German government made it easier to survive integration of the West <laughs> the market economy. So <laughs> we, have, we have done a little bit better than IRL. All right, yeah. let's, let's see. Load. This is the, the fucked one, right? Yeah, okay. Go to economy. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's see what we can privatize. <laughs> wait, you can privatize? Uh, click on the electronic factories. Um, You could have told me this earlier! <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, privatize plus two to the budget! Yeah. Well, if we privatize literally every fucking thing, we might be able to get past this. Oh, well, you could have told me this earlier. Wait, yeah, wait, we, we can privatize the intelligence? Oh, okay, right. Oh, see, that's, that was gonna be a big brain. Like, privatize the Lenin statue. <laughs> the problem is that this, well, privatizing also makes them... It doesn't... It stops them, it stops them affecting our budget, I believe, as well. Um, brother, so, if you privatize things, it increases Westalgia. It was already at literally 98. But it increases nostalgia. <laughs> okay, we're gonna build an army base. I don't think that's a good idea, but okay. What do you mean? Do you do wait? No, no, no. That that's bugged, dude. That's bugged. Do you see that? Plus zero point two. Yeah. 
have you it was plus 0 0.2 before i saw it i saw it i saw it this is the fucking cia this is the just fucking let, just let the time pass for a little bit maybe that's gonna fix it you say oh these fucking events oh no this this thing this okay okay this is good this is good this is good we're in a decent spot okay what's the nostalgia now it's 84.4 and it's going up by plus 0 0.4. You know, I think, I think the patch might actually bug it. Um, I think oh, it wait, might I just be bugged. It might refresh by... Oh, no, 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 now it works. Now it works because of the end of the month thing. Uh, the liberalization of the USSR. Uh, okay, let's... So the, yeah, the, let's dissolve. This one. Dissolve the National Front. That that increased nostalgia even more. <laughs> fucking no, no, no! This is this is the final attempt. Fuck this! This is not worth reloading seventeen times over. It's a good meme, but it's not worth reloading seven. These fucking events. Oh yeah, this is the one that's. Oh, this, this fucking destroys us. Shit. Yeah. Because we couldn't integrate with Europe in time, somehow, did we... How do we integrate with Europe? <laughs> I don't think we're fast enough or something. No, but like, come on, you need, see, like, yeah, we need to yeah. not be a member of the, the Warsaw Pact. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the only thing required for integration, like, maybe we need to be a certain level of democratic or something as well. I think we need, uh, maybe the diplomatic reputation to be lower. We're liberal! Fucking hell! <laughs> I just love the reaction! <laughs> you just really do not like those people, do you? It's not even that, we're liberal, but still not enough, apparently, because of course... Yeah, just even go even. This is over. This is fucking over. Uh, it, it, won't, it won't allow you to process, proceed unless you cut budget now. Oh, I mean. Yeah. Or, or unless you somehow privatize everything and it's enough to. Wait, privatize everything and then do the budget cuts. <laughs> just. We're going down anyway, just do it. We can privatize the TV center. Love yes. it. Yes. Just privatize everything. Yo, this is actually going even above 100. Hilarious. Yeah, I know. It's going to reset the numbers after this time. Oh, wait. We can we cannot restate things. We can privatize the army base. Private army! Love it. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're okay, alive. Watch this oh, now. Um, let's see how the nostalgia is going to kill us or not. Nostalgia's at 103. Shit. Oh. <laughs> I said to God, if we Velvet fight. exchange! Um... Uh, what can we even do? Hold on... Okay, so... Husak plans to make his successor Marian Kalfa, one of the leaders of the party, the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia. Well, however, according to our intelligence, Kalfa sympathizes with liberal ideas. So his appointment to the presidency can significantly change the political situation in Czechoslovakia. Well, since we have compromising evidence, we can hand it over to Gustav Husak. However, this could also convince him to stay... We could also convince him to stay on his post, but do we need this? Of course, we, this will show the steadfastness of socialism in Czechoslovakia, but it can also irritate the Czechoslovakia. We don't fucking care about the Czechoslovaks. You know I, where this all started going down? Where this... It was the video game. It was that fucking video game. Yeah, that fucking put nostalgia at 99.5. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> the fucking Nazi games. <laughs> take... <laughs> take... Hello! The... the <laughs> the the Verabus, it's like yes, the the Karl Stauffenberg definitely was only following orders and was totally not a Nazi. You know? He he def he wanted to kill Hitler because he likes German democracy, of course. Not because they were fucking losing. It's like the Wehrmacht was only following orders. Fucking fucking um <laughs> fucking Veraboo video game developers, it's like, re 
put my po put get politics out of my video games and it fucked us over. Shit. Anyway, send them the compromising. Do you see the nostalgia meter? This was a good idea. It went down. It, it went down because I because I showed him his fucking sex tapes. I sure I sure didn't just reset to hundred because I know it resets to hundred. Oh, maybe it just reset to hundred. Okay. But it's still going down. Maybe it's maybe we'll have recovered this. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to 99.99. See, look at these meters. Like we're just max Germany. <laughs> it's like it's all maximum. It's like best unity of the party, best support of the people, best nostalgia. <laughs> it's like <laughs> we best approval from the USSR. We just we just don't have a good standard of living, apparently. Of course. Anyway, apparently the the people of Czechoslovakia reacted positively to the initiative. We just uh, we just. You know, made good for everyone. All right. Uh, it's the third of March, nineteen ninety. Nostalgia is at a hundred percent. Can the D the Dengus DDR survive? Oh, it's going down. It's oh, going down. It's going fucking down. It's the people is going down too, but we'll just have to deal with this as the time goes on. <laughs> yes, yes. You do not see what's going on right now, but I'm putting up really, really cringy things. <laughs> I, I, but I, but I, <laughs> I have an ANCAP ball on my OBS, and I am flashing it. Oh, <laughs> God. Can we go to the science and see if we can pick anything that decreases that increases our support to people something? Oh yes, stuff. probably something of the Stasi. Um, oh, it decreases nostalgia and increases support. Yes, 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 yes. Ninety days. We need to survive three months. We we need just need to find the best options in every event. I'm pretty sure the support of the people is racing downwards because we have such high nostalgia as well. Oh, that infects it. I mean, I don't know yeah, what I, I don't know anything that affects things in this game. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We we, we are cool. My birthday passed. Okay. <laughs> the Grenzer Company. Oh wait, the USSR is reformist. You know, suddenly now you're not the giant. Yeah, I just I just noticed that I was looking at only one thing this entire time. This number. <laughs> <laughs> the Westalgia. Uh, can we like exit the Warsaw Pact anything? Yo, wait. What? Maybe we can. No, we, we cannot. I think we need an event to exit the Warsaw Pact. Or the Warsaw Pact to just explode. And then we can integrate into into the EEC. Yeah. <laughs> European Union DD. Oh no, I'm scared to click on this. I am Gorbachev's <laughs> oh, No <laughs> Fucking piece of shit Gorbachev Wait 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 maybe maybe it's not as bad as we think Maybe in this case it's good because we're also reformist Milke has just personally spoken on the phone to Gorbachev who initiated this conversation At first Mikhail Sergeyevich congratulated us on the impending holiday and created a warm atmosphere for the discussion of further friendly development of our relations. But then, he urged us to introduce Perestroika into the country and also hold the first free elections. We did definitely hold free elections. Uh, while we still have the opportunity to not follow under the wave of change and popular discontent, this conversation took us completely by surprise. It shouldn't have. However, should we listen to this call? And even if it's worth it, should we need to use the Western achievements for this? Using such systems as gerrymandering? Or is it simply to allow a multi-party system and hold honest elections? This is raving. Maybe the time has come and we simply have to give as many freedoms as possible. No. Okay, uh, we will not change the ideas of socialism and introduce the bourgeois system. I'm, we are forced to listen to the advice of the big brother and hold fair elections. Current circumstances force us to hold multi-party elections. That really we will do our best to win. Uh, which one is most in our favor while holding elections? 
See, the, the the thing that I'm right now concerned about is the the W the W meter. Because the W meter right now is going to increase I think whatever the fuck we do. Like if we see like I'm thinking I'm thinking in I'm thinking in crisis in the Kremlin like flow chart. And my like each one of these okay like the first one ignore the advice equals 15 plus nostalgia uh, hold multi party elections naturally we will do our best to win we have held multi party elections but we will do our best to win equals plus 12 nostalgia we will listen to the advice of the big brother and hold free and fair elections plus 5 nostalgia oh and also you lost the elections <laughs> That's that's the that's the worst part is that you aren't entirely sure how to control the elections. But we see, like, cheating. but but see, my friend, we have ninety-one point eight support of the people. Surely they will vote us. Because I see, like, the the only uh, the other two options are gonna kill us for sure with the nostalgia. Or well, I mean, I it might not. It might not. But it's def. It should oh, kill us. Please work, Mr. Gorbachev. Don't fail me now. Mr. Gorbachev, I will take your advice because you are my big brother, but you are a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, it increased nostalgia. See, you fucking increased it. I knew it. Everything increases nostalgia. <laughs> anyway, well, it was the. T I, I have no idea what happened. It was the turn of the nationwide elections. <laughs> And this can lead to different results. We may not even get half of this. Oh, this is gonna just do an election. Yeah, okay. I think so. so we still get the option of like falsifying this shit. Maybe if we falsify it, that's gonna decrease nostalgia. Because you know we defi we definitely allowed everything. To Wait, isn't this like the second election in like? You know. <laughs> in like two months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so wait, the, the the civil servants thing just decreased the support of the people. It was pretty good. But it might have increased nostalgia. It definitely increased it. I think it increased the election of fire. Uh, see, I still think that with the support of the people this high, we should just win. I'm trusting <laughs> the people too much. I am trusting Kremlin games too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at how liberal we are! Uh, how is this still not enough to continue? I, I am trusting Kremlin games. Kremlin games? I hope you do not fuck me. <laughs> Bien! No! Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Did not allow us to occupy majority as a result. Uh, we still won, like we're still the highest. And it didn't affect nostalgia or whatever the fuck. We should have gone with the falsifying part. Wait, how does this work now? We still are Kadarism, apparently, even though we allowed elections. Right, we lost the alliance with everyone because we dissolved the front. Um, what does the speech even do? Because we're dengus! <laughs> That's why we have money! We're making the, the mad cash. I might be wrong, but speech might literally just be leader speech or whatever the fuck. Speech to the people! Um... Yeah, we should have been doing this more. <laughs> we should have been doing this more. Uh, see... Uh, I think it's the... Uh, speak about the because fight with external... Trade. Because this might decrease yeah. nostalgia, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just, just do it. <laughs> We're alive. My little bit. We are still alive. <laughs> Fucking we portal. Be alive. But we are. <laughs> because we are the DDR Frankenstein. Alright, um. See, this is still bad, but it's not impossible bad, maybe. Who knows? Uh, see, okay, let's see what this is all about. Should we increase the liberalization of the market? Probably. Wait, what the fuck? Freedom 15 out of 10? <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, I think it increases the more you privatize. All right. Um, but how can it be 15 out of 10? Um, yeah, I'm not even sure anymore. What is this going to do? This Wait, that increases nostalgia. <laughs> you got to be fucking shitting me. Why does... See, I don't know. See, the thing is, I do not... nostalgia is the thing I do not understand about this game because... Whatever you fucking do increases it. It's like, yes, you made you made the bad shit for like you made the tanky shit increased nostalgia. You made the liberal shit increased nostalgia. I'm gonna decrease political liberalization. Game of nostalgia. That did not do shit. Oh yeah, but that's. I think you can only do one of the sliders per move. Oh okay 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 right. Hearts of Iron 2, big... It's like Hearts of Iron 2! You can only do one slider at a time. Oh, man. It's still going... It's still going down. New event in Germany. Of course, my friend. I'd like you to stay! 45 years have passed since the end of the war with the Third Reich. Today, one of the SED deputies made an unusual initiative. He recalled that 20 years ago, Julian Simeonov's book, 17 Moments of Spring, was published on which a cult television series was filmed. And he offered to put on a legendary movie hero monument near the oldest restaurant in Berlin in the last instance, which the movie hero loved to visit. Jesus, this if I read this in Russian, this would be a lot easier to understand. You need to make some money on the popularity of Stirlitz. <laughs> I do not even know. Build a cafe yes, elephant. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. This is gonna increase nostalgia, mark my I fucking word. Let's do it. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. Berlin is going to visit a lot of tourists. <laughs> Berlin is going to visit a lot of tourists. The popularity of Stierlitz. <laughs> the Stierlitz popularity. You don't know what it is, Jager. No. I I'm too, like... It's a Russian thing. Of course. I think the, the, I think the close. I haven't watched much, but I think the closest comparison is James Bond, but he's a Soviet spy in Nazi Germany. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Basically. Wait, can can we do anything that's gonna help us in like diplomacy? Iraq, Syria. We have Twelve money. Holy shit. Dengism is a path Dengism is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs> Have you ever heard the tragedy of fucking Mao Zedong the Wise? <laughs> of Chairman Mao the Wise? <laughs> An army base. Doesn't increase the popularity of people. No, it doesn't just nostalgia. This the this increases the the standard of living. Yeah, not the not the people thing. Uh, wait, what about the special service headquarters? Or... This oh, one? It's... No, the special service. This just decreases nostalgia. Okay. Fuck! We have to build the army base then. The old, we can wait. What does the Lenin Square do? It increases the support of the people. I know, but one per region. Um. But that region already had a Lenin Square. I mean, no, it doesn't. Have... What the fuck? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> um, um, game? Game? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's Kremlin games. Why do we even? Uh, Wait, does agriculture establishment think it, well, it, it increases, increases nostalgia. nostalgia? I'm not doing that what shit. The fuck increases the support of the people. The, the TV center. But see, like, we don't need support of the people, because it's gonna go down, but this shit is more dangerous right now. Uh, yeah, let's build the army base for now, then. One per city second... One per each second city, city level? What the fuck are uh, we talking about? Tr try south, tr try any other. Oh, no, 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 alright, but we don't have any no, other right. place with uh, empty buildings, so we just need to improve the south. Okay, we still have enough, yeah. Yeah, just barely. Oh shit, this place also this has... This the one that already had. We, every place already has a military base. Except the capital. 
and that's expensive to improve. Uh, brother, we can just do a factory of electronics. <laughs> we are gonna fucking take over the world with cheap electronics. It doesn't give you money. It it costs to maintain an electronics factory. I know, but it increases standard of living, which is going to increase everything else. I think. <laughs> I hope. You say you think. <laughs> and look, with Nostalgia minus zero point three, now we can work on the support of the people. Wait, how the how much does the the TV center even do? Plus zero point two. Jesus, that's not a lot. Yeah. I hope that the decreasing nostalgia will increase support of the people later on, like it will affect the stats. Just I don't like, know, man. Just like the standard of living. Diplomatic reputation is more than thirty nine. Wait, what? Oh, the anti-war campaign. Oh, no, that's that. Right, 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 right. See, I thought that that was something else. Swiss bank account. Integration into the EEC. <laughs> like how we can integrate Austria into the EEC, but not anything else. Um, oh, yeah, right, all the Ireland shit. Oh, oh the United Yemen. Ignore it. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but... There is literally n are do using our special services arrange a terrorist attack during the final negotiations. Oh, at the Christmas nostalgia, Look at that. <laughs> Why does anyone in East Germany give a shit about Yemen? This shit is so bad, man. We just get bombed with nostalgia all the time. Almost halfway there, Woodstock. Well, at least for this year, we still have 1991. <laughs> you, look, we passed Victory Day. <laughs> we passed fucking Victory Day. All right, I think I'm gonna end it now. <laughs> I don't want to go any further. Just say, save though, just say because. <laughs> this, this there we go. Jesus, or um, I suppose Honaker. <laughs>